Hi guys, it's Molly and today I'm going to show you how to get cardio in without jumping around and running. This is going to be your beginner hit and boxing workout. There will be two parts. The first part is going to be an 8 minute Tabata style hit and even though it's called beginner, it's still going to be challenging. There will just be no jumping around, but you're still going to get that good sweat in. The second half of this workout is going to be boxing. Boxing is a great way to burn fat if you don't want to jump around, you don't want to run around, if you have some sort of lower body injury, boxing is great. It's a real fat burner. So let's get started with the first half, this eight minute hit. All right, make sure you got a good warm up in because like I said, we're gonna be working hard today. This first Tabata is going to be two exercises. The first is a down dog, plank plus a leg lift. The second is going to be standing bicycle crunches. So let's get started. Down dog plank plus leg lift. Countdown has begun. You're going to find that down dog position. Push out to plank to leg lifts. You're going down, full plank, lift right, lift left. Make sure you're keeping your core tight, pushing back to that stretch, back to that plank. Good. And rest. 10 second rest, then we're doing that same exercise again. So you really want to find these two positions. Find that down dog, plank, two, leg lifts. Good. Make sure you're not arching your back and make sure you're coming down to that full plank. Good. One more. Good. Stand on up. Next exercise, standing bicycle crunches. Hands behind your head and let's go. Twisting shoulder to opposite knee. Good. The faster you do this, the more it's gonna feel like cardio. Good, but really get that twist. And rest, good. One more of those. Make sure you're breathing throughout this workout. Breathing is important. Get ready, and go. After we finish these, we're going right back to those down dog planks. Good. This is a true total body workout. You'll feel your arms, your core, and your legs. Good. Back to down dog. Find that position. Get ready. And let's go. Good. Make sure your knees are pointing down during those leg lifts. You don't want to turn it out. If you do, you'll start to feel your hips and it might start to hurt. We want to work those glutes. Let's keep the knees pointed down. Good, rest. One more round of those. Then you'll be done with that exercise. Get ready and go. This is a great one because there are so many parts to this exercise. So it's really using a lot of energy. Good, one more. Awesome, stand on up. Crisscross crunches, up and down, up and down. Hands behind your head and twist. Good. So you're bringing that knee up high and rotating with your torso. Good. I am feeling my shoulders right now. Good. Hand rest. One more of those. Last 20 seconds of this Tabata, then we have one more. Get ready and go. Give it your all. Good. 
pushing until the very end. If you're super advanced, you can always make this a jog. But again, we're taking away the jumping and the jogging today. And rest. Good job, you guys. Take a deep breath. I'm gonna get the timer set up for your next Tabata. This next one is going to be walking burpees and front kicks. So again, if you wanna take that full burpee, you can, but we will be walking it today. And if you get super dizzy when you do burpees, you can always grab a chair or a coffee table, put your hands on the table, and step back and do your burpees that way. It takes away the up and down of that burpee. All right, ready? We're starting with the walking burpees. Countdown is going. And let's go. Bring those hands down, step back, step in, stand up. Good. Down, out. Make sure you're switching feet each time. Shoulders over those wrists. Good. Breathe, 10 seconds. This is another one that uses a lot of energy. Get ready, round two. Good, so if you're using a chair or a table, you would just be putting your hands on that surface instead of on the floor. And if you get lightheaded a lot, that's a really good variation. Good. All right, front kicks are next. Get ready. Bring those hands in front of you and you're kicking straight forward, good. Always keeping a slight bend in your knee, not fully extending it, and that's just to keep your knees safe. You don't ever wanna hyperextend that joint, or any joint, but especially the knees. Good, and rest. One more of those. I'm a little bit more out of breath this round. I don't know about you guys. Keep pushing through it. And go. Good. Keep that core tight. Bringing that knee up and kicking as high as you can gets your abs more. Focus on your posture. And rest. All right, back to those walking burpees. You ready? And go. Good. Try to keep the pace quick here. You don't need to focus on holding each position. It's more about moving your body. Get to that full plank though. Hips low. Good job. One more round of those burpees. Burpees are great, right? Any variation is challenging. And get it going. Last 20 seconds of burpees. Good. You got seven seconds left. And good job. One more minute of hit. Front kicks. Get ready. Hands in front. Kick. Kick. So I don't want to see you rounding down like this. Think about that posture. It's actually more challenging for your core. And rest. 20 more seconds of those. Then you're done with the hip portion. Give it all you've got. Hand go. Good. Kick hard. Kick like you're trying to kick down someone's door. Like you're in cups. Let me in. That is what I always imagine when I'm doing front kicks like this. Hey, some sort of motivation. And rest. Good job, you guys. Get some water. 
breathe for a couple seconds, and then we're going to start the boxing portion. All right, I hope you broke a sweat with that hit portion. If you feel like you want to do a bit more hit, you can always repeat that section one more time before moving on to this boxing workout, but the boxing is going to be tough. How this is going to work is we will take 15 seconds to walk through each exercise or each combo, and I have five different boxing combos for you. We'll take 15 seconds to walk through it, and then you'll give it your, your all for 30 seconds straight. So you're gonna be moving as quick as you can and punching as hard as you can for 30 seconds. We will do each combo two times, because most are right and left, and that's how it's gonna work, all right? So let me get this timer ready. Your first exercise we will walk through, but it's going to be a very basic jab, cross. All right, so timer is all set up. Again, first exercise, we're going to start with the right arm, jab, cross. Good. So that arm in front, punching forward, twisting that back foot and crossing. Jab, cross. Make sure you're doing it with me. Jab, cross. You really want to feel that twist in your obliques. 30 seconds. Give it all you got. Good. So these 30 seconds, you're going as fast as you can and as hard as you can. Make sure you're not fully extending your arm in these punches though, for the same reason as those front kicks. You don't wanna hurt those elbows. Imagine you're actually hitting something, hitting a bag or a person if you wanna imagine that. Good. And let's switch sides. Slow first, jab, cross. Good, front arm, jab, twist. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Feel that twist. And pull out. Use your breath to help you punch harder. Feel that twist. All you got, 10 seconds. Punch hard. Almost there. And good. Next exercise, we're going to go jab, cross again, but add a knee. So we're going jab, cross, knee. Front arm, back arm, back knee. And let's get it going fast. Bring that back knee up fast and down fast. Really get those abs. Boxing is great for your upper body, your back, your core, your legs too, because you're constantly on them. And great for burning fat, like I said earlier. Good, switching sides. I know it's not much rest, but I told you this is gonna be cardio. Jab, cross, knee. Good. Jab, cross, knee. Get ready. Pull out. Good. Picture a person, a situation, something that's frustrating you right now, and let all of your anger out. Boxing is great stress relief. And it's safer than going and actually beating someone up. Good. And switch sides. Next combo. Jab, cross, hook, hook. You're keeping your elbows bent on those hooks. And twisting again with that back arm. Get it going. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Really keep that tension in your upper body. Imagine you're hitting something so that you have to stop. When you stop that motion, your core is really working hard. And that's a good thing. Gonna get you those nice abs. All right, walking through, other side. Front arm, back arm, front arm, back arm. Good. Jab, cross, 
hook, hook. And fast now, jump, cross, hook, hook. Are you breathing? Breathing is important. Keep your core strong. Keep a slight bend in your knees the entire time. Always a little bit on your toes. Good, next exercise, jab two times, cross, knee. Back to those knees. Jab, jab, cross, knee. Jab, jab, cross, full out now. Two more combos left of this workout. Give it all you've got. Jab, jab, cross, knee. Never fully extending those arms, remember. Good. Switching sides. Let's walk through it. Jab, jab, cross, knee. Good. And full out. I know your body's getting tired. Fight through it. Literally fight through it with your punches. Good. This is burning fat. This is changing your body. Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to tone up? Get stronger? Feel more confident? Do this. It's worth it. Trust me. Good, next exercise, a little bit more complicated. Cross, jab, hook, hook, duck, two switch sides. Going cross, jab, hook, hook, duck. Get it going. Cross, jab, hook, hook, duck. Cross, jab, hook, hook, duck. You'll get two chances at this, don't worry. If you're feeling a little bit uncoordinated, you'll get it the second time. Cross, jab, hook, hook, duck. Cross, jab, hook, hook, duck. Sit low. Each time you duck and switch sides. Good. Cross, jab, hook, hook, duck. Cross, jab, hook, hook, duck. All right, let's talk about that one more time. Slowly cross, back arm, jab, front arm, hook, back arm, hook, front arm, duck, to switch sides. Last time. Cross jab, hook, hook, duck. Cross jab, hook, hook, duck. This is the end of the workout. Give it all you got. Everything you have left. Throw it out right now. Cross jab, hook, hook, duck. Cross jab, hook, hook, duck. Under 10 seconds. All you got. Do one more. Cross jab, hook, hook. Good job, you guys. Breathe. Deep inhale. Keep moving your feet around. Even if it's just step touch like this. You don't want your heart rate to drop too quickly. So keep moving a little bit. After you've caught your breath some, you can either move on to another workout of mine and get some extra abs or whatever you want, or if this is the end of your workout, make sure that you stretch. It's important because you worked hard. You worked hard, right? I believe that you did. Your muscles need a good stretch to recover. Make sure you drink a lot of water now after this workout, because if you're like me, you sweat a lot. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. You can always leave a comment below and request a workout or any other type of video. I'm starting to post a little bit other things that you guys are requesting too, so keep an eye out for those. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because I post new workout videos every single Tuesday. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you next week. Bye.